Hello, not a Genshin video today. I do play other games as well. A new MOC just came out for Honkai Star Rail, which is their Abyss equivalent. And the first half of Floor 12 has Wind Weak enemies, so you know what that means. It's F2P Blade, zero cycle time. Before I show you the power of Blade, I'm going to show you my team builds. So Blade is E0S1 with effectively 100% crit rate and no speed. So I'm running what is called Slow Blade, where characters like Sparkle and Branya bring him forward up to their speed, and so his speed doesn't matter. Branya is E1 with Planetary Rendezvous. I will just say with Blade and Sparkle on the team, Branya E1 is essentially useless, so an E0 Branya will have the same effect here. Planetary Rendezvous is used because I don't have a past and future built up, so Branya's Light Cone is currently on Sparkle. Sparkle is E0 with my only copy of Branya's Cone. She has more speed than Branya, so she can go first, and then Branya can go after her to give Blade double the turns. Ranmei is the only kinda maybe not so F2P relatable character. She is E1S1 and is crucial to my clear. She's what you could consider Star Rail's Kazuha. She's super crazy universally strong. Now haters will say that this is not a blade showcase but a support showcase and they're definitely right. But damn was it nice to finally clear a stage 12 MOC in zero cycles. So with this team you can use everyone's abilities pre-fight for maximum value which is always nice. And then the plan in fight is to use fast sparkle and Branya to bring forward slow blade while Ranmei helps with damage buffs and weakness break. There is no sustain on the team, which means the goal is to kill the enemies before they kill us. Also, special shout out to Mint Kelvin for somehow finding my secret Twitch stream and hanging out with me for two hours watching me put this run together. It was a lot less lonely repeating the same fight over and over again. That paradise may be unreached. Savor it for me. Savor it for me. I failed. 